Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marital Bliss with Pastor Honoring. We are still looking at submission in marriage. And today I want us to, Anal, to look at something. To what extent should you submit? To what extent should you submit? Do you submit in everything, right, to the extent of going against the will of God? What extent is too much for a woman to submit? How much should a woman take when it comes to submission? That in the Bible, we see people who submitted, like Sarah, for instance. Sarah submitted to the husband. The Bible says, quotes, even quotes her as an example of a submissive woman in the book of, in, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. It, it quotes Sarah as an example of a lady that submitted to her husband to the extent that considered her husband to be Lord over her. And the word used there for Lord means honor. It means possessor. It means Sarah considered herself like she is owned by her husband and i realized that sarah obeyed her husband to the extent that even when there was a famine and they went to egypt and the husband said tell tell everyone here that you are my sister sarah obeyed even though the king ended up taking her as a wife even though she stood the, the chance of of, of, of getting into adultery, of getting, of, of having to sleep with another man. But the husband did that for his own selfish reasons because he didn't want, he, he felt like he might be killed because, because he's married to a, to a beautiful woman. Sarah still obeyed at that and, and God delivered her. God intervened at the right time and, and warned the king like, 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 let go. This is not the sister. This is the wife. And we see another case in the book of Ruth. We see Naomi and and, and Elimelech. They were living in, Beth, in Bethlehem, which means the house of bread. And for some reason, there was a famine in the land and they failed to inquire of the Lord what to do. And they left the house of bread. They left the place where God was king over their lives. They left the presence of God and they went to Moab. Moab means the accursed land. Moab was a, was, was, was a product of an, of an incestuous relationship between Lot and the daughters. So so they left and they went to Moab. Moab was the Akes land. But they now in Moab in Elimelech dies, their two sons die, and but Naomi remains. So I believe that Naomi just was in submission to the husband and followed the husband to Moab. Naomi was followed the husband to Moab by submission. So God had mercy upon her and, and saved her to the point that she, 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 at the end of the day, she went back to Bethlehem. She went back to the place of her assignment. She went back to her place of purpose. But then as we proceed to the New Testament, I then realized something different because I began to ask God, but what is different now? Now we have the spirit of God in us. Now salvation is personal. So when a lady finds herself at the position of backsliding because her husband asked her to, is that still the will of God? Is that still scriptural? And God says, follow, follow him as he follows Christ. Follow him as he, follow, as he follows Christ. If what he requires of you is against the word of God, is against the will of God, you have the right to not submit to that. Your salvation is personal. At the end of the day, you are not going to tell God, my husband asked me not to. In the Old Testament, grace covered them because they did that. They didn't have the Holy Spirit in the inside of them. They just followed the law and the law says submit. But then in the New Testament, you have the Spirit of God in you. In the New Testament, your salvation is personal. That's why Ananias and Sapphira Safira had to lose her life because Ananias decided to take a wrong decision to withhold some money from the apostle and to lie that that was all the money that they sold the land for. And, 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 and the wife in submission agreed. And at the end of the day, the husband died. And when she came and they asked her the question, she agreed that it was true and she died on the spot. So there is no grace for you covering if you do wrong. You have the spirit of God. You know what is right and what is wrong. So if you follow your husband into error, you pay the price for it. You are responsible for your salvation. 
And I also want us to understand that submission varies from culture to culture. A place I believe in, in Nigeria, Yoruba, I believe, that I hear like the, the, the ladies most often to, 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 to bring food to their husband, they bring the food and they kneel down, they kneel down to serve the husband, they even kneel down for the husband to eat. And But in, in other words, you can't go to the Western world and define submission as kneeling down. The, the wife doesn't even have time to be there to serve the husband. So as the husband maybe is coming back home, the wife is leaving for work, or the husband comes when the wife is still at work, and when you come, you find your way to the kitchen and put your food. So it depends on the environment. It depends on the society. So there is no particular restriction or definition of submission. It depends on where you find yourself. Hallelujah. I hope this helps someone. I hope this enlightens someone. God bless you. Shalom.